you know, really, he's done a good job for a while here, mm -hmm. you know, returning starter. And, and Cody Fletcher's been pretty good as a backup. And then the fifth guy right now is Eric Green, you know, where mm -hmm. those guys all are on a mix. And they're all in a place where they, you know, they're competing for spots and they're yeah. working hard and the competition is good for all. Well, I know at, at, at Media Days, uh, Coach really plays both uh, Cody Fletcher and Daniel Green. What can you kind of tell us about both of them? Both of them, um, you know, they're very, I, I think this, uh, you know, where the two that we, Daquan and Eli, they're very athletic young men. You know, they, they are very athletic. They have the ability to run, and they got pop to their body, and they can move, and they can do those things. Where the other two might be, uh, you know, you don't want to say a step slower, just different. They're different styles. You know, those guys are going to make athletic plays. The other two right now you would say, well, you know, they might be more instinctual yeah. and, and make the play. So their their speed of play isn't much different between all four of them, mm -hmm. you know. And, and and if we can keep developing that with those four guys and you would say, hey, we didn't get any more injuries yeah. after after J-Ball, then you would say, okay, you know, we got we got a chance to be okay. Mm -hmm. You know, if we if we get any more, then that, that that's where you start to get thin at. I, I know at the end of the spring, you you pretty you were pretty happy saying you felt like the defensive line would be the strength of, of your unit right now. Yeah. Is it, did anything you've seen the first you know time, like since you've been back has anything changed there? Is that no, what still no, they're still pretty good. You know, I mean those those D tackles they uh, and really there's a bunch of them. You know, I mean you can you can go. I mean you guys know all of them, but. Even even if you start to include like Eli, you know, young Eli is coming along where he, he's holding mm -hmm. point and he's doing some good things. So if we can go into the season and we say, hey, we got five defensive tackles that can play, well, okay, is JP coming along? Pickle, he might. Okay, now maybe we got six. Now we, and those are things that you can't have enough of, you know, because mm -hmm. if you can hold point, you can stop the run with those guys. They can do a lot of damage. And then our defensive ends, you know, even with, you know, with Reggie being down right now and Boom being a little nicked up, it's it's a deal where you'd say, okay. Well, we thought we had really great depth there, mm -hmm. what we're talking about. And then a couple of nicks and bruises here later, you're saying, well, we're a little bit thinner there. And that's where E.G. Uh, uh, Eric Allen mm -hmm. has been playing some where he he goes down there and he gets some edge stuff now, too, just to give us some depth. So he's really doing a great job, Gallon, I'm talking about, of being a guy that, man, he can play everywhere. He's so smart. He can make plays at, you know, all, like four different positions mm -hmm. and that can help us provide depth everywhere is mm -hmm. what we're kind of hoping right now. Mm -hmm. Regarding that defensive line group, how versatile is it and how creative do they allow you to get with things like rush packages, third down situations? You, yeah, if you, you know, if, if everybody's healthy, it, 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 you'd be, it'd be a lot, you know, you could be a lot more creative. You know, um, right now we're, we're getting some rush packages and we're doing some stuff where Kyle moves inside and doing all those kind of things. I think that, uh, it also helps when you have an experienced group of guys up there, especially if you're going to play some teams who aren't quite as experienced as you up front. It allows you guys to, you know, we can call some calls to help our corners, you know, and take them the heat off of them and say, okay, hey, we're really putting the pressure on you guys, and we're going to run some movements and some games and stuff that are going to clog up the run, and let's, it's really your job to stop the run and, and by yourselves. And we might be a gap short, but you guys are pretty good. Let's put some stress on you and help out those corners when we need to. Wyatt Hubert in particular, how much have you seen him grow as a leader just in the time that you've had him, and, and how much have you seen him develop, and what are the expectations? What can he be here in this season? Oh, man, I, I think he's a really good football player. You know, I've been around some good defensive end, and he's, he's a guy that uh, he can be exceptional. You know I mean? He, he's a guy that, I mean, what you see from him, his work ethic, what he does every day, it's awesome. You know what I mean? And, and that's a guy that we, yes, we look to. Um, you know, and I think it's because he's a, he's a little bit of a self-made man. You know, he works hard every day. He comes to practice. He tries to do the right thing. He really takes coaching and takes it on the, from drills onto the field. He does all those things, which is cool. And and the other side of things is he's he's a humble dude now. You know, I don't know that he knows how good he can be. You know, he's just like I'm out here just balling. I'm just having a good time. I you know I don't worry about all that stuff, other stuff, which is what makes him him. You know, which is what makes him work so hard.